same time, you want to give me a hand digging out this trench, will ya? Yeah, Phil, like I really wasn't all that comfortable over here leaning on my shovel. Very funny. And like I really want to come over here and break out into a sweat, throw out my back, and get cramps in my legs. Great, and I thought I was going to have to do this all myself. So, Phil, how's the wife and kids? Yeah, we're doing much better. Oh, there was uh, something wrong before? Yeah, I thought you knew. Nope. Well, my uh, wife's father moved in about five months back, and, eh, well, it hasn't been the smoothest transition. Tough old Kaja, huh? <laughs> yeah, but please, don't tell my wife I called her that. No, no, I was talking about... Uh, you, you got me. Nothing like having an in-law in the house. In-laws, outlaws, what's the difference? I'm breaking out in a rash just thinking about it. But you know what? I think it's done our family some good. How so? Well, Gene's dad used to be a pastor or a missionary or something like that. Mm. Sounds like trouble to me. That's what I thought. Anyway, get this. The first weekend he's here, he wants the whole family to go to church with him. Danger, danger. Evacuate immediately. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I don't think we've been to church, I guess, since, since we got married. Incoming, incoming. Take cover, take cover. Anyway, here I'm thinking, there's no way. My kids, though, they get all pumped about the idea. So I figured, so what? What's the big deal? Humor the old man, make him feel good the first weekend he's here, right? Have you lost your brains, man? You can't let this old guy move into your house and take control. Well, but my kids, they loved it. My wife, she runs into uh, half a dozen neighborhood friends. And me, well, say it ain't so. I'm serious, man. It wasn't that bad. Hello in there. What have you done with Phil? Are you some sick alien life form that's taken over his body? Hey, I even ran to Brad Cleavers there. Get out! Brad Cleavers goes to church? Yeah, yeah. Hey, you should. You should try it. Who, me? Nah, it would never work. They wouldn't even let me in the front door. Hey, I know a guy who can get you a fake ID and a real looking mustache. No, it would never work. That'd spot me in a second. And beside, that pastor's liable to make a sermon illustration out of me or something. Nah. Hey, and if not, I'd make sure he'd point you out so he thoroughly embarrassed you. Man, church. It's been a long time for me, too. I don't know. Hey, it would certainly freak my wife out, though. She's been after me for years to go to church with her. Hmm. Well, we'd love to have you both come with us. You're serious, aren't you? Just think about it, Tom. I never would have imagined it. But going to church has changed my whole perspective. I mean, I'm not some kind of religious freak or nothing, but it's done a lot for my marriage. Gene and I spent a lot more time talking about things that are really important. Significant things. And I feel better, more at peace with myself now. Man, I used to really beat myself up, feeling guilty all the time. And you should see what it's done for my kids. Man, are they psyched. They love it. You know, come to think of it, Phil, I have noticed some kind of difference about you. Difference? I in a good way? Well, yeah. I guess we just spend so much time just shooting the breeze that we really never talk about stuff like this. Yeah, how long we've we been working together? Oh, I don't know. Seems to me about uh, two years. All right then. This is okay, right? You betcha. So I think it's about time we start sharing our stories, don't you? Yeah. And if you uh, ever need to talk, I was just waiting for you to go first. Such a gentleman. Well, you know me, Mr. Manners. Right. No, but seriously, Phil, thanks. For what? Well, I'm really glad to hear the things that are going on good with you. And I'm glad you shared it with me. I never would have guessed that it was church that made the difference. You know, my life has really been going crazy lately. My wife and I are fighting all the time. I could really use a good dose of what you got going. It's beginning to sound good. 
Well, it just helps to say what uh, we're going through. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. I guess this is uh, one of those bonding moments my wife has been telling me about. <laughs> yeah, if it seems so. It's not all that bad. No, it's not as painful as I thought it would be. Hey, you're not gonna hug me or something now, are you? I hadn't planned on it. Good. Hey, what do you say? Wanna freak your wife?